Bum 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 bum. The Peter Dislike Show. Bum 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 bum. So Wikipedia has a really good table on the price of each metal and um, how rare it is in the Earth's crust. And it's a good way to get a sense of which metals are currently undervalued or overvalued. And I thought I would show just how overvalued gold is and just how undervalued some of the strategic metals are. So here we have a chart of the abundance of each element in parts per million and its price. And what we could do is multiply those two numbers to get a sense of the market cap, if you will, of each element. So let's start by looking at gold so we can get a sense of comparison. If all of the gold in the world, in the Earth's crust, were worth 179.2, we can get a sense of which, which metals are undervalued and which ones are overvalued. So let's start with what most people would consider the, the um, rare earth elements, right? Those are the elements that are on their separate rows in the periodic table, starting with lanthanum. And you can see that most of the rare earth metals are actually quite overvalued. And the reason for that is that the reason rare earth metals are worth anything today are because they're very hard to isolate. All of these elements will dissolve in each other, and they're very difficult to separate from each other with chemical properties. So if you expect future technology to make it easier to separate these metals, right, that would not be the best investment. To, I would not hold any of these physically. What I might hold, and I do have some holdings of that, is the rare earth uh, uh, mining companies because they work on the technology to refine uh, these uh, metals, right? So uh, REMX is the rare earth uh, mining uh, ETF that I have. Now at the other extreme, aluminum and silicon are way overvalued uh, for their rarity. They're everywhere, right? Just go outside. Every, every rock you see outside is pretty much aluminum and silicon. The reason they're priced what they are right now is because it takes a lot of energy to turn aluminum oxide and silicon oxides so into aluminum and silicon, right? That's why we recycle aluminum cans, right? The reason you recycle aluminum cans is very different than the, the reason you might recycle gold from a wedding ring, right? It, it's not, aluminum is not rare, but it takes energy to turn aluminum oxide into aluminum, right? So um, copper and nickel are also um, overvalued relative to gold. Zinc is roughly equal. Silver is quite undervalued relative to, go to gold. No surprise there, right? Historically, silver was worth about a tenth of what gold is. Right now, it's closer to a hundredth of it, right? Um, Palladium is way overvalued. I, I don't know if this is an up-to-date price. Palladium has fallen a lot recently, but even then, it, it's pretty overvalued relative to silver. Platinum is... Uh, platinum is actually more common than, than gold in the Earth's crust. The reason it's historically a little bit higher than gold is because of political risk, right? So you have to think about geopolitics, right? If you expect world peace you might not want to hold too much platinum or palladium, right? Um, if you expect a lot of conflict or you want to hedge against conflict, that would be a good idea, right? Same thing with iridium. Um, rhenium is actually one of the rarest stable elements in the Earth's crust, and so it is about 100 times undervalued relative to where gold is. But my favorite, two of my favorites, Tellurium, look how rare it is. It is 0 0.06 in terms. So it's about 1,000 to 10,000 times undervalued relative to gold in terms of its rarity. Plus, it has a lot of utility, right? I live in Arizona. Look at any solar panel. You're looking at tellurium right there. And of course, my favorite, bismuth. 0 0.05724. So it's about um, 1,000 to 10,000 times. Probably, the, is it the most undervalued of the stable? I think it's the most undervalued of the stable elements. 
in terms of um, rarity and um, has a lot of future applications, right? Uh, so think about that. Uh, imagine, imagine if the price of your Pepto-Bismol went up 10,000 times. I don't think most people would be able, people would have to live with their heartburn, right? This is the Peter Dislike Show. Bum, 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 The Peter Dislike Show. Bum, 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 bum.